Ladies and gentlemen, season one of The War Within is already out and rolling and we got to play Restoration Shaman in Mythic Plus with few of you messaging me that things got rough once the key level goes up. And if you ask me how you can make things better, the best way is to get your item levels up and then possibly get tier set. However, that takes time and the other thing that you can change is your hero talents as you can choose between Farseer and Totemic. I've played both and we're gonna talk about the differences and which one is better. But first, if you want to support this channel and the content creation, you can do so by following the links in the description. I've made a Patreon page with some extra perks as well as the YouTube memberships that you can utilize as well. Thank you very much to the couple of people who already opted in and the other important thing is that I have a full advanced restoration shaman guide on this channel. So check this out if you want to find out more about the spec and now let's talk about Farseer and Totemic. As I mentioned in my guide, Totemic Restoration Shaman is very easy to play. Your healing rain is now instant cast via your surging totem, you have to click it once only 24 seconds apart and your chain heals are automatic as they're being casted every time you drop let's say something like healing stream totem. Long story short, this build is pretty chill to play with because you have much less buttons to press and you can even drop talents which are relatively annoying like primordial wave. I definitely recommend this build if you're just starting to learn shaman as it's going to make this process much easier and it's also pretty good for lower keys where you can get away by using this build and have a pretty nice and chill time. Of course not everything is perfect, we have two main problems here, the first one is mana which is also a problem for Fars here and I'm gonna talk more about this just in a few moments. And the second problem is going to be throughput and control that you have. Yes, it's easy and you can drop those automatic chain heals, but you can drop only that many of them before you run out of healing stream totems. And then you end up hardcasting your spells only to find out that they're actually not that powerful. You will definitely feel the changes that Blizzard made with the bigger health bars and the more spells that you need to cast in order to top somebody off. And you easily find yourself falling behind when you have to deal with a lot of AoE damage on higher keys. This is where Farseer gets to shine, but before we go there, let's mention that Totemic is actually the go-to hero talents for the raid. It provides quite consistent healing there, and although Farseer is not far behind, it seems like the ancestors that you summon with Farseer are a little bit chaotic with their targets when they start healing, meaning that they are not utilizing the so-called smart healing, so they are doing a lot of overhealing, which kinda automatically makes Totemic better in that environment. Make sure to subscribe to this channel as I'll have a raid healing guide for Totemic Restoration Shaman as well and you don't wanna miss that. And now the final verdict, definitely play Totemic in the raid, play it in M plus keys, but in M plus keys if you start feeling that things are getting way too rough and you're falling behind, maybe it's time to consider switching to Farseer. Now Farseer is much harder in the sense that you have to hardcast your healing rain, you have to do that every 10 seconds and you also have to hardcast your chain heals as they're not automatic anymore. Not to mention that you even get an extra button with unleash life which is going to be the primary skill that you use to summon the ancestors that are gonna help you heal up and do damage. And if you're wondering why would that be better, the answer is exactly control and throughput. You can have one ancestor up almost 100% of the time, which means that now when you're casting a healing spell, you're basically getting extra value as the ancestor is gonna be casting a similar spell as well. In Mythic Plus, it doesn't matter if their healing is chaotic because when everybody is taking heavy AoE damage, any help is basically welcome and is going to bring you extra value. And on top of that, you have Nature Swiftness cooldown reduced down to 30 seconds, which now also summons another ancestor for a short window after that. The Unleash Life button that you're pressing all the time also buffs your next healing spell, providing even more throughput. That means that you can get a burst of healing with Nature Swiftness every 30 seconds, then you get a short window with two ancestors helping you, 
and casting extra healing spells and 30 seconds is very little time which means that you can have this basically for every boss mechanic and you can use it several times during trash pulls. The ancestors are even going to help you do damage if there's nothing to heal so that control, that throughput and that burst that they provide is actually quite welcome to deal with tough situations in higher keys. So if you're struggling there I would suggest definitely give Farseer a try but do keep in mind that it's a little bit harder to play with, especially if you smash some keys as totemic and you got into the habit of pressing your surging totem, now all of a sudden there's all those extra buttons that you need to press, that you need to cast, so it's definitely overwhelming at the beginning and you need a little bit of time to get used to it, but once you do, you find out that it feels so much better than totemic in rough situations. Let's also mention that having nature swiftness every 30 seconds helps a little bit with mana as well, so let's talk about that next. As mentioned, Farseer is a little bit easier to play with when it comes to spending mana and having mana issues, however keep in mind that this problem is still going to be there. Unfortunately that's something that happens with Restoration Shaman all the time and compared to some other healers which basically have a mana bar but they don't use it, that does feel unfair but you have to deal with it if you wanna play the Shaman anyway. So what are the tips that I can give you? First make sure you have your water shield up all the time. If you're looking for ways to track it check my video talking about the best Restoration Shaman weak auras for season 1, you have one of those there available. Stack Critical Strike as this not only helps with throughput but it also gives you some mana back and make sure to stock up with mana potions and food that you can eat in between pools. Don't forget that you can always go to a follower dungeon once you log in to get some mage food but the innkeeper in Dornogal sells some lava cakes which are very very nice so make sure to get some of them as well just in case. One more thing to note here Keep in mind that right now you're anything between 15 to 50 item levels below what you would be once you start getting some gear this season and that's going to help both with healing and with mana and once you get 4 piece tier set bonus that is literally going to make it even easier because it reduces the mana cost of your spells so even if you're struggling right now just keep in mind that things are eventually going to get easier. They will also get easier if you watch my full advanced restoration shaman guide for mythic plus this season and you should subscribe to the channel because I will have a raid healing guide coming up as well as well as content for other healers. If you like the channel please consider supporting the content creation, I'll see you guys in the next video, now take care and get out of here.